Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. Um, so Transwork, we're live on YouTube with Dr. Jonathan. Hello. Hi, Ross. It's great to be here. So wonderful to have you. And thank you so much for joining us to, for our AGM in September. I don't know where the time goes, but it was just a wonderful word that you brought. And it's been really encouraging. And actually, since you got us all to stand up and pray for increase, we've had like four new ambassadors, we've had oh, new wow. associates, we've had new groups. So um, <laughs> yeah, we're seeing answers to prayer. So thank you for encouraging us and activating our faith. Well, Amen. today, yeah, <laughs> today we're going to talk about this new book that you wrote, um, Vision of Lights. Tell us a bit about it. How did it come into being? Well, it's basically a collection of revelations and dreams, not just of myself, but of visions that God gave a number of other people way before I was born and recently and basically we're all saying the same thing god is going to visit this land again the british isles and ireland and the isles with revival we don't know when but it's going to happen and i've been sharing this vision that god or visions god gave me um for about 15 years and every time i share them People will ask me, do you know who Jean Daniel is? Or do you know who, um, have, you, have you heard of the Smith Wigglesworth yep, um, yep, prophecy? Yep. So we, 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 we transcribed those full script into the book as well, so that people could read what Smith Wigglesworth said, what Jean Daniel said, and what a number of other people in our contemporary times have also seen about this vision of lights. Great. And I love the picture on the front cover. It's very much in line with a vision that God gave me and other people have prophesied over Transform Work. Lots of little lights connecting across the nation. And we have these little workplace groups and some of them are big groups, actually, in workplaces. But how will your book then benefit a, a workplace Christian? Um, is there any nuggets in there? Well, one of the visions that God gave me was that people were, smit were meeting in small groups of twos and threes and fours and fives. I like to say fives and, and fifties, five hundreds, five thousands. But the group of the fives and fifties were the most. And people were praying everywhere, in the workplace, in pubs, on the streets, in homes. And so the revival that is coming is going to hit the workplace. Many people in the workplace, in universities, in homes, where they work are going to find other Christians and they're going to find time um, out of no time to pray for 30 minutes or pray for 10 minutes or pray during their break. And so um, one of the key things I would say to those who are in the workplace, two things they can do. They can set their alarms to go off at uh, 12 o'clock and pray the Lord's Prayer. It takes about 33 to 40 seconds to say the Lord's Prayer. You can do that every day at the workplace, praying your kingdom come. And also what you can do is find one other Christian or two other Christians in your department, in your workplace, and find time, five minutes, 10 minutes uh, during the day to just find time to pray for the workplace, pray for your boss, pray for um, your colleagues, pray for the company you work for, and just pray God's will into that place. I believe if Christians can do that, um, it can precipitate a move of God. So that is part of what the book is saying. So good. So good. So <laughs> and this is exactly what we want to do at Transform Work UK. It's this very same vision. We want to get Christians um, praying together. Even if you're on your own in your workplace. Listen, I work for a PR company. There's only 10 of us. I was the only Christian, or so I thought at the time. And I would yes. go around the desk and start praying in the spirit language under my breath. And when I washed up the cups, and then I found somebody who said they were a Christian, didn't go to church. We got chatting, praying together. And, and lo and behold, we start praying. So, Jonathan, wow. this is just perfect. And this is what we want to see um, happen across the UK and Ireland and also into the other nations of the world as well. You know, <laughs> that would be amazing. So, Jonathan, how do people get a hold of your Book. we want to encourage workplace christians and i think that this book will really encourage them um yeah. they, should, this, they, they can just go to visionoflights.com which is very easy to get or very easy yeah. to remember visionoflights.com 
Perfect. Visionoflights.com. Light. And com. they can order, yes, or, or, Peter, or Peter, Peter Brooks. Dot com. Um, either of those two, they can go to um, Peter Brooks is the publishing house that got the, the book published, or they can go to visionoflights.com. I suspect a lot of people will remember visionoflights.com. So they can go there and they can order the book. It's we're, we're, we're actually, we finished the first, first run. We're, we're, we're eating it the second run and we're planning on the third run because there's been such a demand for it. So the, the publishing house said it's, it's been the fastest selling publication they've ever had. So Thank we want you. to encourage Thank people you. that God, God is getting the word out and God is encouraging Christians everywhere to, to, to get a hold of this prophetic word. Yes. Amen. Well, and just in time for Christmas. So, you know, <laughs> to go for it. Jonathan, thank you so much for taking the time out just to share with us about this book and how it can encourage workplace Christians. Bye I'm now. so glad to be here. God bless you.